One day I was at my grandparents' lake house and I started gaining weight. Over a week I gained 20 pounds and we didn't know what was wrong. And I was diagnosed with uh, FSGS. It's where the kidneys scar themselves. Over time, they just keep getting beaten up. I was riding on the transplant to work. When I get my transplant, everything will be good. You know, my body will bounce back and I'll be all right. And then it went downhill. The majority of the patients in the United States who have kidney failure go to clinic for dialysis. A part of this is unexplainable because it is very well known that home dialysis is as good as in-clinic dialysis, but it rehabilitates many a time patients better, and it's cheaper sometimes for patient as well as system. For most patients, just starting dialysis in the clinic appears daunting. For 20 or 22 hours a week of a completely rigid structure for which you are dependent on somebody else. Whereas home dialysis is, to a significant extent, a much more liberating experience. Because like you regularly decide your time for food, like you regularly decide your time for coffee or time for a walk, home dialysis in most if not all circumstances, it allows you to manipulate your time so that yes, you can get good dialysis, but no, you don't have to sacrifice your social life or social structure in order to satisfy dialysis. So we started Home Hemo. From there, it's, it's really been great for the situation I'm in. Like I'm, I'm free to do whatever I want. I gotta be back here at four o'clock, five o'clock, you know, in the afternoon. But other than that, I have freedom again, you know?